Vas a tener un cubanito en la familia. ¿Cómo va a ser el ceremony por ahora? Todavía ni he hablado con ella con eso. Trata de ver, por favor, si puedo ser yo la que camine contigo. What do you feel about my mom walking me down the aisle like, and then she'll sit down? Ceremony? Yes. Yeah. Why would she do that? Me encantaría a mí poder entregarte con, con tu papi a... En la iglesia, mamá. A mí se te ve hasta el apellido soltera. Todo es tan raro acá en Estados Unidos que no, bueno, no pensé. Yo pensé nada. que las costumbres eran casi igual al país de uno, ¿no? Pero bueno. This is what you're going to eat out of. It. So just get used to it, bro. You should get used to it and you should take a shot from the top. That's a good idea. I'm not doing it. You're ready to get it. No, are you ready? We're ready. Oh. My makeup lady isn't here yet. Mami, no sé dónde está. Her whole side of the family isn't here. Everybody's always late. Mamá, pero agárrame este brazo. No, pero tu mamá no está con nosotros. Sí, claro. ¿Tú estás con nosotros? Sí. Can we pull over on one of these side roads? Alexandra. Hi, my name is Alex. You're watching. Quiero mi boda. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Lima, Peru, and I live in Miami, Florida. 24 years old, and I'm Cuban American. We met in high school. We were friends. We were best friends for four years. And then we started dating. And on our fourth year anniversary is when I decided to uh, pop the question and propose and get engaged. I cooked for her. She ate. I told her to close her eyes. I was already on one knee. And I told her, I want you to marry me. I want to be my wife. And she goes, are you sure? <laughs> wow. I was like, he what caught me off guard. Position. <laughs> he caught me off guard. I needed to make sure he was sure. Mind you, she grabs the ring and she goes, Are you sure? I looked at her and I was like, Yeah. <laughs> I did all this for a reason. It's such a yin and yang relationship, and he's so laid back and he's just like, Go with the flow. And I'm like, OCD and planner. Baby. Yeah. I'm here. Sorry I'm late. What are you wearing? The thing that drives me crazy is she's uptight. Why'd you come like that? She's very so uptight. No. I like not. to be dressed nice all day long. 24 I like days to look cute. I'm a girly girl. We're going to a restaurant, honey. You don't go in flip flops and shorts and a t shirt. All right, I'll change. Oh my goodness. There's no time for relaxing around her. That's not true. Yeah, okay. Much better, honey. You seriously need to be a little more laid back. I got a heavy personality. I don't care what happens. I'm not the type of person that's shorts and a tank top and sandals. I definitely hate putting on a suit, which I'm gonna have to do in a little bit. My parents were married for 24 years and then decided to get a divorce. My father currently lives in Lima, Peru. Hello. Hello, hello. Hola, hijita, ¿cómo estás? Aquí, llamándote para darte unas buenas noticias. Te sacaste la lotería, la loto. <risa> Vas a tener un cubanito en la familia. ¿Un cubanito? Yo ya les nos comprometimos. Ah, ya, ya, yo, yo pensé que te iba a haber un cubanito chiquito en la familia. No, no. No, no. <risa> bueno, qué bien, me siento contento, bien por ustedes. O sea que ya empieza a buscar pasaje para venirte a mí, a mí. I guess in a way I'm daddy's little girl. Probably one of the closest to my dad in the family. And I'm a mom's baby, you know? Ay, Ale, qué rico te quedó esta comida hoy. ¿Te gustó? I currently live with my family. I'm a mom's baby. Between me and my sister, I'm the youngest. I'm her only son. We have a tight bond, you know, as mother and son relationship goes. Te voy a decir una cosa. Te voy a extrañar. ¿Por qué? Porque eres mi baby. No te quedas con un baby grande. Así, papi. Pero de todas maneras, mi amor. Tú vas a venir varias veces, ¿no era? Ojalá. No, ojalá nada. No, yo voy a pasar, yo voy a pasar de vez en cuando. ¡Ay, ya! ¡Ay, ya 
our cultures are completely different. Hanging out at her house is always everybody's indoors. At my house, it's everybody's outdoors. Basically, we do the whole Cuban tradition thing, you know? We play dominoes, smoke cigars, we have barbecues. Oh, and drink a lot. In her house, it's wine. There's nothing else to drink but wine. Wine and some water, and that's it. <laughs> surprisingly and at the same time not so surprisingly both cultures had to throw in the when are you having kids and we were like wait a minute <laughs> of course they want kids in the family so much quicker than i think we want <laughs> Then the decision of getting married was then, you know, I want to have a family and I need a person that's going to be a good mother of my kids. I love that she's good with kids. She's a beautiful person on the outside and she's an even more beautiful person on the inside. He just always brings a child out in me. He always makes me want to laugh and he always wants to make me spontaneous and I love that he balances my personality out so much. I can't wait to marry my Cubanito. <laughs> love you. Love you, Robo. My future hubby. Yeah. Planning a wedding is more difficult than we thought. And I'm just so overwhelmed. I'm really feeling the stress. ¿Qué estás haciendo, Ale? Okay, mami, la lista. Ah, yo también tengo mi lista. Guests and invitations were an absolute nightmare. Mira, hay que invitar a los vecinos. ¿Por qué los vecinos? Porque tienen que participar. Esa es una costumbre en nuestro país. Sí, 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 en Perú se invita a todo el mundo. Acá no es así. La boda está encima y no hemos acabado de Y eso es otra cosa. ¿Cómo voy a invitar a la gente a dos semanas antes? Here's your invitation. Tú me dijiste que para que no se olviden, acá es costumbre también de mandarlas ver bien cerca de la boda. En el Perú es un mes de anticipación. Ay, mamá. En el Perú, en el Perú, en el Perú. Acuérdate que estamos acá en Estados Unidos, pero somos peruanos y tenemos que hacer las tradiciones como son allá. Okay. Mamá, pero la gente que estamos invitando no son peruanos. Mamita, no importa. I'll see you later. Hablamos. We're in America. We've been here for Lord knows how many years, and she still wants to do invitations and a guest list according to how it's done in Peru. Even though we're both Latinos, we necessarily don't see eye to eye. I just hope we can make this wedding work and keep both cultures happy. Mom. Dime. Estamos pensando en siendo la boda en la iglesia de Alexandra, con el pastor de Alexandra. Está bien. ¿Cómo va a ser el ceremony por ahora? Todavía ni he hablado con ella con eso. Trata de ver, por favor, si puedo ser yo la que camine contigo. Tú eres mi chiquitico y ya es el último que te me casas <risa> o me gustaría que tú seas el que no, pero yo, voy a tratar, yo camine contigo. Yo voy a tratar todo lo que puedo para que tú camines conmigo. I took that as a, a very meaningful thing. You know, it's not about marrying your son off. It's about, you know, showing everybody at the wedding that this is the person that gave life to you and you're honored to walk her to her seat. Today, we're gonna go fish. Thank God I met a woman that her backyard is the lake. And it's a stock lake and it's private. So anybody can catch, except for her. <laughs> Please try not to hook me. I will try. Well, I already hooked you technically. Technically you did. At the lake, it was actually really nice because that was probably our first serious conversation about what we really wanted to do with this wedding and where we wanted to take it. What do you feel about my mom walking me down the aisle, like before you get in there, you know, and then she'll in sit the down ceremony? at her. Yeah. Why would she do that? I was never expecting that, because I just didn't imagine that that's how it would be on my wedding day. Most of the weddings that I've been to, you know, I've seen that the mother walks his son down the aisle, because basically, it's not like he's giving, getting given away by his mom, but, you know, it's just like, your mom parading around your son, like, okay, this is my boy, he's getting married, you know? Her attention really is, when she does the first dance with you, that's where the mother comes in with her son. You know, I, like I haven't asked for much in this wedding, you get me? You know, basically whatever you say goes, you know, I'm trying I to do that. I know that, but, but it's you know, just weird because I'm not really used to it. I mean, that. you're not used to it, but I mean, I'm, I'm used to it. You know, I was like a little hurt by it because I had actually done a lot of homework, which is not like me to do it. But you know what? You know, she didn't mean to do it. She just didn't advise me or tell me that, uh, 
you know, that's not the way they do it in Peru. So I'm trying to keep up with making it one wedding, you know, unified. I guess it is a tradition. At least in my family, it's been a tradition. We'd, we'd also have to check with the pastor. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. If, you know, if he says no, then, then it's no. Okay, well, let's talk to the pastor and see what he says. Okay. All right, thank you, baby. Ale, me encantaría a mí poder entregarte con, con tu papi a la iglesia, mamá. Oh my gosh, mom. ¿Qué te parece? A mí se te ve hasta el apellido soltera. Bueno, ya yo y Alexandra hablamos con el pastor. Sí. Y tengo noticias. My name is Alex. And I'm Alexandra. And we're getting married in a few days. Even though we're both Latinos, our cultures are completely different. Hopefully we can get through this wedding with little to no torture. I hope. Vamos a comer. He loves Peruvian gatherings. Yeah. 18 people on a 10 person table. <laughs> a lot of fun. Comida cubana es buena. Tiene arroz, frijoles, pero nada más. La comida peruana tiene variedad. Tiene cercado, arroz, pollo. No, lo que no me gusta es todas las cosas estas verdes. Verde. 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 Since me and Alex met, she's always said that I don't speak proper Spanish. Claro que no. How do you say call me back? No, no, no. No, say the rest of it. Say the point. No, no, no. Either way, we're getting married. We're going to have to compromise. We're going to have to learn how to understand each other. Ave Maria, let's see how that goes. So we drove the whole way straight to the church. I have to go talk to her pastor and ask him the big question of, is my mom allowed to walk down the aisle with me? And look how big it is. Super bonito. Wow. I was ecstatic that he loved the church. I was a little nervous because he had never been there before. Hermano Raul. <laughs> I noticed that the pastor was there, so I went ahead and introduced them, and I was actually a little bit nervous because the pastor's known me since I was two years old. Tengo una pregunta que es super importante para mí. Yo soy el único hijo de mi mamá, y ella quería saber si había alguna restricción. Si mi mamá me camina con no hay ninguna restricción, ninguna. Es para tú sentarla a ella. Sí, sentarla a ella. Es como dándole reconocimiento. Sí, como un escort. Exactamente. Okay. I was ecstatic, and at the same time, I was trying to look over at her, and I was trying to show, like, you see, he doesn't care. So that means she's walking. You see, no problem. You got the answer. So yes? So yes, your brother's walking. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> if that's what you wanted to know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good. I'm ecstatic now. You are? I'm happy. We're ready to go. Let's get married tomorrow. I'm good. <laughs> My father currently lives in Lima, Peru, and he's going to be coming for the wedding. Hello. Hello, Cocho. Hola, Chita, ¿cómo estás? Justo pensando en ti porque acá se me olvidó lo del toxido. ¿Lo del toxido? Claro, papá, tiene que ser un toxido si eres el papá de la novia. Yo sé, mi amor, pero este acá en el Perú, en Lima. Smoky, eso es ya a la antigua, hijita. I thought my family was going to throw all their Cuban culture at us, and I thought they were going to be a headache. But when I found out her problems and her Peruvian family, I knew she was going to take the cake. Acá todo el mundo va a decir que elegante ese hombre, que que buen mozo, el papá de la novia. Bueno, hijita, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Todo lo que hace uno por usted. Vestirse de pingüino y con zapatos de policía. Getting my parents to wear the perfect outfit for this wedding has been a complete mission. Father and mother. Mommy, I'm a little nervous to go dress shopping with you. Why, Alexandra? I haven't gone with you, so I'm a little intrigued about what you picked. Today I'm going with my mom dress shopping for the mother of the bride dress, because I need to see more or less what she wants to pick up. Ah, Ale, te quería decir, me encantaría a mí poder eh, entregarte con, con tu papi a, a Alex y poder tomar parte de la boda. En la iglesia, mamá. That kind of took me by surprise coming from her. Yo no sé. Vamos a ver, mami, porque yo creo que con mi vestido, de repente, no entramos bien, like, in the aisle. It might look weird. But either way, like, I would like to think about it. Déjame pensarlo, déjame hablar con Alex. Y, okay. Y vamos a ver, pero vamos for a ver. now, let's see the dresses. <laughs> Ella seleccionó tres vestidos que le gustó. Mm -hmm. I have it on the feeding room, so you can start to try it on. So oh, perfect. Can... Okay. Sí. Now, vamos a ver qué te gusta. Okay, I'll just sit here, Mom. Let's see. Mira. Oh, my gosh, Mom. <laughs> Too much? Just a bit. <laughs> the slit was just so high. No, it wasn't happening. No, negativo. Bueno. Next one. 
Vale, este no tiene brillo. Y no tiene brillo. Pero mira. Muy colorful. Just a tad. I was just like, absolutely not happening. Next. ¿Qué te parece? There was absolutely no way my mom was going to wear that dress. Se te ve hasta el apellido soltera. Ay, Ale, ¿verdad? That dress was enough. Demasiado sexy. No. After looking through all the dresses, I was a little disappointed because there was dresses that I liked, but nothing that would be appropriate for the occasion. Bueno, I guess we're going to have to look for other ones. But I don't have time, Mom. ¿Cómo que no tienes tiempo, no, Alexa? No tengo tiempo. Being so busy with the wedding, there was no way I could go with my mom to go dress shopping again. No tengo tiempo para nada. Tendré que ir a buscar los vestidos yo. You better do a good job, because I want you and Dad to walk me both down the aisle. So, <laughs> She had been wanting it, and I figured it's a great moment for me to tell her. Um, you know, it's it's a joy and it's an honor for her. Qué emoción. So, ya sabes. Of course. Something appropriate, something no free. Problem. Got a deal? Deal. All right. <laughs> so now even more, she's pressured to find the pretty dress. <laughs> Mom, tienes un minutico? Hola yeah, conmigo. Mom. Having my mom walk me down the aisle. It came down to the point that. I had to ask the pastor, is it okay with you in the church if my mom walks me down the aisle and I escort her? Yeah, yo y Alexandra hablamos con el pastor. Sí. Y tengo noticias. Tú vas a caminar conmigo. She was super excited. And uh, it was special for her that we had like our own little moment there, you know? Tú sabes que para mí esto ha sido un sueño, de verdad. Porque cuando a mí hace años, tú eras chiquitico cuando tú naciste, que yo... Me dijeron que a lo mejor tenía cinco años para vivir. Yo le pedí a Dios siempre un poquitico más de tiempo. Y él me sanó. So, estoy viendo, vi la boda de mi hija y ahora voy a ver la boda tuya. ¿Y por qué él luce como si vas a empezar la llorar ya? Porque imagínate, eso ha sido para mí una misión. Una misión, de verdad. Te quiero. También. It came as a shock to me when she was getting emotional like that because I didn't think it meant that much to her. Today, my father is lying in from Peru and we need to take a look at some tuxedos. I think you're a little worried about it. Yes, it's so strange here in the United States. I thought that the customs were almost the same to the country of one, but well. I am a little worried about my dad and the tuxedo, but more than anything, I just want him to not complain too much. Los zapatos de charol, de policía. <laughs> Espero que sea un solo matrimonio. Te vas a casar una vez. La próxima vez. Si no, yo no te pones tu La próxima vez te sale a la playa. <laughs> We're getting married soon, and there's still a lot of things to do. Planning a wedding is more difficult than we thought. Mañana, prometo. Thank you, Hello. Yeah, cool hey, Nobody here. <laughs> when we were finishing the homework, which is not like me to do it, my grandma walks in. Quiero preguntarle algo a ustedes. Yo traigo aquí los anillos de mi papá y mi mamá que se casaron en el año 37. Y yo quisiera regalárselo para que ustedes lo usen si ustedes desean hacerlo. Gracias. 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 She surprises us with like a monster surprise of wedding rings. I was ecstatic because just knowing the age on those rings was a complete honor to me. Me queda exacto, mejor que lo mío. Me han dado una alegría muy grande de saber que ustedes van a usar los anillos de mi padre que a su vez son sus bisabuelos. Esto sí es algo muy muy especial. Muchas gracias. The most important thing to me more than how beautiful they were and anything was the verdad el significado que tienen you can see that in her eyes Ay, gracias. Gracias. <laughs> maybe we're gonna be married tomorrow oh my goodness hey honey it's 12 o'clock don't you got like uh, bright stuff to do or what Hay que mover estas dos personas. Ali, ¿quién va a llevar eso? Ya lo llevaremos nosotros. I need to leave with this. Now I have to wait for you. Marley, ¿qué pasó? We have a little problem. My makeup lady isn't here yet. Hey, give him one of those, man. Here.
Sure, you're not gonna back out now? No, you're gonna back out? <laughs> Better not. The end of the evening has come and it's time for our goodnight kiss and our final goodbye because I am not gonna see him till the next day on the wedding day. And uh, basically, I mean, I was just like in shock because I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, this is the last time, you know, she just gave me a kiss, be my fiance. Tomorrow, it's gonna be done. The real deal. Real deal. It's 10.30, today is your big day. My mom wake me up, told me it was my wedding day. And she gave me a big hug, you know. I'm a mom's baby, between me and my sister, I'm the youngest. You wait 24 years just to walk me? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I went to the bathroom, got ready, and I was off to the barbershop. The day that I have been looking forward to since I was a little girl is finally here. My day started with a phone call from Alex. Hello. Hey, baby. Hey, honey. Happy anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary, baby. Wow, you sound excited. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock. Baby, but I was up till 3.30 in the morning yesterday. I don't care if you were up till 3.30 in the morning. Don't you got, like, uh, bright stuff to do or what? To sleep like a one lazy ass. Wake up. Baby, I love you. Bye, my mom. All right, bye. Good morning. Hola, amor. ¿Cómo estás? Oh, I'm tired. Because I was yawning, too. It was just so nice of her, but at the same time, it was just so sad because it was the last time she was going to be able to do that for me. About the eyebrows, those eyebrows. Yeah, how we face them doing bro. Yeah. I always take care of my eyebrows. These things grow like crazy. So I don't even ask them for a regular haircut. I just ask them for the regular eyebrow trim. How long you been married, Renee? Your age, 23 years. Wow. Yeah. Any advice, bro, on how to keep a woman for 23 years and keep her happy? I have a poster like this in my house, mm -hmm. and it says, happy wife, happy life. That's it. <laughs> hey! Whatever that woman says. It just so happened that one of the guys there said the happy wife, happy life phrase. I thought I was the only one that had it. Obviously not. Hey, brother. You ready? Oh, my God. I think as ready yeah. as I can be. All right. I'm How's your list going? Good. I'm just going to finish it, and then I'm going to email it to the DJ. Oh, so. thank God. OK. I got changed, and I'm running to my brother. Poor thing. He's doing the DJ list that Alex was supposed to do. Hay que mover estas dos personas. I have to take them to the reception. I was supposed to take the place cards to the reception hall, and my mom had not finished the place cards. Mom, but that's why I was telling you I needed this finished since yesterday. Mom, but for two seconds, what have you been doing afterwards? Okay, well, this we I need to leave with this. Now I have to wait for you. Okay, well, let's finish this because I need to I need to wait for you now. Needless to say, I had to sit down at my table and finish the place cards with my mom. Now I'm late. You're home already, baby. There we go, brother. You take care of yourself, okay? Very well. I started feeling the wedding day nerves as soon as I finished my hair. Done. Okay, yo me voy a ir a hacer el pelo, mamá. Alex is probably very relaxed right now, because of course, men all they do is shave, haircut, and then they get dressed. I'm mean, running around like a lunatic, but well, whatever. That's what happens to every bride, I think. When I got to my best friend's house, I was greeted by both of them, and they both had little red cups in their hand. To me, it means they've been drinking a lot. Trouble. Dead man walking. <laughs> Dead man walking. <laughs> hey, give him one of those, man. As soon as I walked in, I went to go take my shot. Cheers. Cheers. That was good. Hey, for real, though, for real. I feel sorry for Alexandra. After I had the drinks and everything, I was feeling great. My nerves were gone.
I rushed into the salon. Thankfully, my hairstylist was ready for me. I got my hair washed, finally got a few minutes of relaxation. Then it was off to the chair. My hairstylist and I went over what I wanted for the wedding day. Era como soft, no era exactly. tight. Exactly. Ay, qué lindo. Ya me encanta. <laughs> this is what you're going to eat out of <laughs> So just get used to it, bro. Every time you do something bad, mira, no se hace. A gallon full of your nose. A gallon full of your No! They told me, hold on. We might as well just put him in the doghouse because since he took the shot, Alex is probably gonna get mad because she's a Peruvian ninja and this and that, and she knows what he's doing, so she's probably got a camera on him watching him, and he took a shot, so he's gonna be in trouble. Boys. I got a good idea. He should get used to it, and he should take a shot from the dog. That's a good idea. I'm not taking a shot from the dog. Oh, I'm not doing it. There's a democracy. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Just like this. All you gotta do is TJ. You know? one? It's not gonna be clean, yeah, yeah. bro. I see what he's out of there. We're cleaning. 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 We're
Alma, pero agárrame este brazo. Como tu mamá no está con nosotros. Sí, claro. ¿Tú estás con nosotros? Sí. Today, that's it. It's over. It's my wedding day. And I rode to the church with my father and my mom. That was actually pretty, like, emotional, you know. You live with your mother and father for so many years, and it's weird because you're not forgetting about them, but you're, you know, letting go. Why you look at me like that? Uh, not like I'm dying or anything. I'm like, to start crying? don't tell me Why are you going to start crying? Because I know it's a happy moment. It's not any different than what it's been like for the last eight years. I feel like I'm driving some dim mess. You are driving some dim mess. <laughs> Once I arrived at the church, got butterflies. I started noticing people were coming in. It's 6.15. I was supposed to get married at 6 o'clock. Where's his bride? Where's Alex? Um, not freaking out because I purposely made the invitations half an hour earlier than I even wanted anybody be there. <laughs> oh my gosh, your dress is so pretty, Mom. You're not kidding. I love your dress. My mom comes in finally with her dress that she had chosen. It was so hectic at that point in time that I barely noticed she had something on. <laughs> it was just like, okay, great, you look cute, now get me dressed. Okay, my dress time. Arms. <laughs> This is most definitely the day I've been waiting for since I was a little girl, and I feel like I look perfect. This is exactly how I wanted to look for Alex. You want to see something hilarious? Her whole side of the family isn't here. <laughs> Everybody's always late. There's about 100 people in the church, all on the right side of the church. I look at the right side, there's two people there. And I don't even think they're part of her side. I think they're part of my side. It just filled over to her side. It's funny because the Cuban type, Peruvian type. <laughs> Game time. Let's go. I need to get to my car. Cuidado, mi. Agarra, levántame, please. So I grabbed my dad and I said, it's time to go. We run out of the house and I see the car of my dreams. It looked amazing. That's the car. I wanted to get married in. I, I need to go. I feel very, very nervous right now because I need to get there on time. Qué guapo estás. Mira que se te ve lindo, papá. Mis zapatos de policía, ¿eh? It's already 7 o'clock. She's still not here. People are hot. Everybody's close together. Everybody's asking me, where's the bride? You know, I thought I was gonna get punked or something. So finally, after all this time, I arrived to the church. My father gets down, and we basically ran into the church. Where is she? She's way over there? Yeah. All right, um, let's start lining up, guys. Finally, she's here. All I did was breathe in, and I thought I was gonna faint. Ooh. Boy, that was the most nervous I've ever been. All I know is that I'm getting ready to walk up to the front of the church and I'm getting married. You forgot to tell your dad? No, I didn't forget to tell him. It just, he didn't. Apparently, it must have not clicked to him. You probably didn't tell him. Uh, with everything that was going on, you probably forgot. It just didn't click to him. He looks at my mom, and he's like, you're walking with us? And my mom's like, yes. No, 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 lleva a mi lado ahora. No, yo le voy a acomodar el vestido. Finally, my mom walked down the aisle with me. She's all proud, has her chest out, and she is as happy as can be. I don't want to get emotional. This is nerve-wracking. That's it. The moment is here. All I know is the door's open, and if I could put doves flying out behind her, I would. She looked like an angel. I felt warm inside. When your bride turns a corner and you see her for the first time, that is a sight you will never forget. Halfway down the aisle, I remember Where's Alex? And I just look up, and all I remember is just this huge smile at the end of the aisle. Dear members of the family and friends, who gives this woman to be married to this man? Alex, se le entregó mucho amor. Cuídala como gracias. That 
that moment was just nerve-wracking, exciting, happy, scared. It was just so many emotions. Nervous. It was just an amazing feeling. You can't explain it. It's impossible to explain it. Do you promise to love her, to cherish her, and to be true to her until death alone shall part you? I do. Alessandra, do you promise to love and to cherish him and to be true to him in all things until death alone shall part you? I do. My best man handed me my grandmother's rings. It was honestly probably one of the best feelings ever. It brings back great memories from his great grandparents that carried these rings and had such a happy marriage. It was just an extra special moment for us. By the authority has given me, I declare you both husband and wife. Amen. It is a blessing for me to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Rich. That was the most nerve-wracking thing ever. That was the most nerve-wracking thing ever, baby. I must have sweated like 20 pounds. I love you, Bobo. We finally finished walking down the aisle, and I just get this feeling of excitement rush through my body. I wanted to run out of the church with Alex in hand. It was just like surreal. We just got married. We're about to get in the car, and the driver had a surprise for us. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Yeah! He had a bottle of champagne sitting on a cube of ice, ready for the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs., which was absolutely great. Mary. How are you? Let's get in. I don't care about you. I don't want to pull over one of these side roads. Yeah. Tell us, because he needs a long time because he doesn't have blinkers, remember? I was driving to the venue. Halfway on the ride over there, my head starts pounding. Can we pull over on one on of these side, side roads? roads? He's feeling I'm sick. Yak. I don't know if I was sick or something. I might have had a flu, might have had a bug. I thought I was going to throw it. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this is happening to me on my wedding day. <laughs> I just started getting dizzy. And it had none to do with me getting married because I actually felt relaxed. <sighs> Let's make it to this place. I was so happy he got back in that car and he's like, I'm fine. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I felt a lot better once I got out of that car for about two minutes. I don't even know why I'm sick. Maybe the dog bull? Yeah. We step into the venue for be presented as husband and wife. Ready? Party time. I'm excited. I just look at her and I told her, you ready? And she just looked at me back and goes, I'm ready. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you can all rise to welcome the newlyweds, let's have some noise, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. and Mrs. Rizzo. I absolutely love the entrance of the reception. It was so special. I think it came out amazing. When we were on our first dance, all I can remember thinking was how beautiful she looked. I was just like, this is the woman of my dreams, that's it. Yeah, 
basically that dance was all about us, starting our new lives together. You almost forget that people are watching you and, you know, we fell in love all over again. It was just so special, such a great moment. the important stuff was done. It was time to freaking party. Thank God. It ended up being so much fun. A great party. Everybody enjoyed it. And unfortunately, like every good thing, it has to come to an end. Between all the stress and all the headache and all the family clashing, all the cultural clashing. All the Peruvians against the Cubans and Peru this and Cuba that. Having my mom walk down the aisle. And my father all upset complaining about my mother, but also complaining about tradition. I did not expect this to be so complicated. <laughs> but it all just tied in so perfectly in the end that if I could do it again, I would do it exactly the same. I loved it. Good. great and I'm with the woman that I love, the woman of my dreams. And I realize that this is the man I need to be with. I love you both.